Yuri, two more notes for me this time, huh? What are they on this this time around? Space stuff. So there's a lot on this one. This is talking about the sun. So the sun makes energy by fusion. If you write it like that, that U kind of gives it away. And there's different things happening with this fusion equation. So we have hydrogen turns into helium, okay? Fusion is when gravity pulls these things together enough that it actually creates a new element, okay? And that gives off a ton of energy, which is what sunlight is. Any questions that talk about what process forms energy in the sun? What's the process of lighter elements turning into heavier elements? What's the process of um, fuel? Okay, this is star fuel right here, and this is the product. Um, anything with process in the sun or process in a star, that's what they're talking about. Um, process of stars, lighter into heavier. As stars get older, they're going to have more helium and less hydrogen. Younger stars are going to have more hydrogen and less helium. I think that kind of covers as far as that goes. Um, we're going to go to a clip of the whole solar system forming. Dropped my note from Gary there. The whole solar system forming and I'll explain a couple things on that and then we'll come back and look at a few questions and then we can talk about the planets. Okay, here's that big cloud of gas and dust and it's all spinning in the same direction and at the center you start to see the hydrogen is getting pulled together by gravity and the star is starting to form. So the star is called the sun and as the sun is forming it starts to glow. The hydrogen is starting to fuse and turn into helium and it creates tons of energy. Everything's spinning in the same direction and you can see the planets are starting to grow. That's called accretion. That's when the planet's gravity is pulling things together. These outer four planets are gas that's getting pulled together. And then the inner four planets are the rocks. They're more dense, so they get drawn towards the center. And as all of those collisions happen, you can see those planets starting to grow right there. Okay, here's Yuri's second note. This is a more straightforward one. The different types of planets, there's really two different types. You've got the Jovian, those are the Jupiter planets. And you can see the, if we move over to the side over here, the characteristics of those. The Jovians are bigger, they're gassy, they have a lot of moons, and sometimes they have rings. Okay, They're the outermost planets, they have a very low density. You want to look at your planet chart in your reference table um, anytime that they, they're asking questions about some of the different planets. The Earth-like planets, those are the terrestrials, they're Earth, they're rocky, they're smaller, they're more dense. Um, they have few or no moons, and that's usually the wording that comes up with those. So definitely make sure that you have all of that memorized. They're always going to ask something. They usually like to ask just one question, Jovian, gassy, Jovian, big. These are the Jupiter-likes, and these are the Earth-likes. Come on, Yuri. Can you move out of the way, man? we got some stuff to get done here. All right, Yuri. You can... Look at these questions later. What process do stars convert mass into great amounts of energy? Well, do they make mass? How do stars, how does the sun make energy? Um, it's nuclear fusion. Like, that's what it all comes back to. They're gonna, it's that sticky note. Hydrogen into helium, something about that. Yuri, come on, we, we got stuff to do, buddy. Get out of the way. All right, um, compared to Jovian planets, terrestrial planets are, oh, this is tricky. I really don't like how they ask questions like this. They throw something out there, it's like a bait and switch. They're not asking about Jovian, they're asking about those terrestrial planets, but they put Jovian in your brain first. So the Jovians are more massive, but it's about the terrestrials, they're less massive. So the terrestrials are smaller, they're rocky, um, but rocks, even though they're cool, they're more dense, they're not less dense. So terrestrial, Earth-like planets are more dense and less massive, Jovians are the opposite. What, Yuri? Bad teacher. Uh, Yuri's leaving me bad notes now. Uh, forgot to tell you about two important things. So, asteroids. There's the asteroid belt in between Mars and Jupiter. Those are kind of like leftover rocky objects. Some of those are what ended up turning into the inner four planets, like Earth. Um, so they're in between Mars and Jupiter. And then why is there no craters 
or few craters found on Earth from all these meteorite impacts, but there's so many on Mercury and the moons. Well, the Earth has um, the Earth has atmosphere to help protect it. So shooting stars are when you know those meteorites burn up in the sky, and then the Earth has weathering and erosion. So all craters when they hit, eventually wind, water, uh, glaciers they they destroy the the impact crater and then they deposit things on top of them so they get buried inside the earth but mercury and the moon that shows up quite a bit for why there's no craters on there for um on like a regents exam question they might say why doesn't the earth have craters but the moon has a lot and you'd say because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere mercury doesn't have an atmosphere thanks yuri all right, Yuri, thanks for uh, all that space talk. We'll be on to the moon next. What'd you say? Yeah, that's right.